Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. We're in the docs going through the combine section. Let's combine CMS dynamic lists into one single dynamic list. Combine allows you to take collection items that are inside dynamic lists and combine all the items to one single dynamic list wrapper. This is extremely useful when setting up things like filtering and sorting where you want all of your items inside one list wrapper, not five or six different list wrappers. Let's jump in and see the use cases here. You have more than 100 items in a list and you don't want them broken up into individual dynamic lists on the published site. Inside Webflow, you still will have to do this. You're going to have to add five or six dynamic lists to add five or 600 items. But on that published site, all those items are going to be inside this same single dynamic list. This also is helpful if you want to take items from different collections and put them all on the same list. Maybe you want a user to filter through projects, services, and clients all at the same time. Right now in Webflow, you cannot take different collections and put them all into the same list. We are able to do this with the combined component. And let's look at how to use it. The combined component is also the easiest component to implement. Check it out. Combine is only one single line here, and that's all you need to do to start combining your lists. Let's go through this line by line and make sure it all makes sense to us. If you didn't see the walkthrough video of the first getting started step, please go and check that out first. We have our function. We have our new instance of the library targeted at our blog post lists. We're storing all of that new instance in a custom blog post variable. And look what we're doing right below. Custom blog posts, custom blog posts. This is our new instance. This is a shortcut, a variable for this entire piece of code. So we are taking our custom blog post instance, our variable, and we're going to run the combined component on that variable, on our instance. Awesome. And that's it. And what this is going to do is take every collection list with blog post lists and combine those into one. It could be on two different dynamic lists. It could be on 20 different dynamic lists. It will take every single collection list with this class and combine them. That's it. And that is all you have to do for combine. Code explanation. There's nothing much else to explain here. We have our custom blog posts. That's the variable we created. We have our combined component, no other explanation needed. And again, please make sure all the collection lists that you want to combine have this same collection list class, a blog post list. Of course, as you're doing your own site, you can customize this. You don't have to have blog post lists. You don't have to have variable blog posts. You can customize that however you want, as long as they match and match, and that this class matches the actual class you have on your dynamic list. If you want to see this working live, please go through the walkthrough examples. We have a clonable site where we go through in detail, in video of this working live on a Webflow published site. That's effing sweet.